So here no need to write the integration constant because since this is a definite integral we can remove the integration constant here. Some values here changing the parameter or by using the method of substitution you need to change the limits also from x to t here. We know that here 0 to 5 by 4 sin inverse 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta can be written as sin 2 theta. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is Yashruti Ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysuru. So in our last section, we have studied about the definite integrals as a limit of a sum as well as using the second fundamental theorem of integral calculus. We have studied both method of finding the values of a definite integral. Since I already told you definite integral is nothing but a unique value for the given integral under the given limits. So let us take few more problems to find out the definite integrals using the concept of second fundamental theorem of integral calculus. Before that, what is the second fundamental theorem of integral calculus says? Suppose you have an integral from a to b f of x dx. Then you have to find its antiderivative and apply the limits. So find the value of antiderivative of at b and as well as at a. Then take the difference. This will give you the value of the definite integral. So here are few problems. Evaluate the following definite integrals. So I have taken here method of substitution. Since we have already solved many problems on definite integral, the same thing we are going to do here also. So we are going to calculate its antiderivative using the method of substitution and then we will apply the limit and find the value of the definite integral. So here we have the first question, integral from 0 to 1 of the function 1 over root of 1 minus x square dx. We know that this is the derivative of tan inverse. We know that this is the derivative of sin inverse function. Therefore, the integral of this function is sin inverse x. Now, this is the value of the definite integral. Now, let us apply the limit from 0 to 1. Then it becomes sin inverse 1 minus sin inverse 0. So for what values of sine it will become 1? It is for pi by 2. So therefore it is pi by 2. We know that sine becomes 0 for the angle 0. So therefore here no need to write it. So the value of this definite integral is pi by 2. Next 0 to 1 1 over 1 plus x square. Again 1 over 1 plus x square is the derivative of tan inverse x. Hence, the integral of this function is tan inverse x. Now, let us apply the limit from 0 to 1. So, this is tan inverse 1 minus tan inverse 0. So, for what values of tan function it is 1? It is for pi by 4. So, that is tan 45 is 1. So, therefore, the tan inverse 1 is pi by 4. Now tan 0 is again it is 0. So pi by 4 minus 0 it becomes 0. Next integral of x over x square plus 1 dx. Suppose if you have 1 over x square plus 1 you can take it as a tan inverse function but here we have x dx function. So here we are going to use the method of substitution put x square plus 1 is equal to t. Then 2x dx can be written as dt. But here I have only x into dx. So let me take it as dt divided by 2. Now this is what we have given. But we have a limit of x is equal to 2 as well as x is equal to 3. Now here put x is equal to 2. So put x is equal to 2. Then t is equal to 5. If you put x is equal to 3, then t is equal to 10. So this is what we have to change the limits also since all the variables are in x 
the limits become 2 to 3 but the, when the variable is changed to some other parameter you have to change the limit value also putting the value of x is equal to 2 as well as x is equal to 3. Now apply this complete transformation to this integral what happens here so from limits 2 to 3 becomes limits 5 to 10 and we have the function x square plus 1 in the form of 1 by t x dx can be written as dt by 2. So let me take half outside the function. So then integral of 1 by t is a log t. So and here we have log 5 to log 10. So apply the limit half of log 10 minus log 5. So substituting the values here you can get the result. We know that log 10 value is 1. So therefore it is can also be written as half into 1 minus log 5 also. So by substituting the value of log 5 you can rewrite and find the value finally. So next question we have integral from 0 to 3 1 over 4 plus 9 x square. Now here integral of 1 by 4 plus 9 x square can be written as so here I will write dx integral of 2 square plus 3x whole square. Now this is of the standard form 1 over x square plus a square with respect to ds whose value can be written as 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c. So here no need to write the integration constant because since this is a definite integral we can remove the integration constant here. Now here integral of 1 over 4 plus 9x square can be written in the form of 1 by a which becomes 1 by 2 tan inverse x by a. x is nothing but 3x here divided by a. So this becomes 3x divided by 2 here. So now let us apply the limit from 0 to 2 by 3. Let me take 1 by 2 outside the function and here tan inverse of so here I have 3 by 2 and the value of x is 2 by 3 minus tan inverse 3 by 2 and here x value is 0. So here 1 by 2 tan inverse 2, 2, 3, 3 get cancelled 1 minus tan inverse 0 is 0. So what is value of tan inverse 1? It is pi by 4. So therefore it is half into pi by 4 which is equal to pi by 8. So this is the value of this definite integral. Next 0 to 1 tan inverse x 1 over 1 plus x square. So put tan inverse x is equal to t. Then 1 over 1 plus x square dx is equal to dt. So now if you put x is equal to 0 then tan inverse of 0 t is also 0. If you put x is equal to 1, then tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4, then t becomes pi by 4. So now let us change the integral. Only when you are substituting some values here, changing the parameter or by using the method of substitution, you need to change the limits also from x to t here. So applying the integral value, here it becomes 0 to pi by 4 and here tan inverse x we have taken as t. So this becomes dt. So now integral of t becomes t square by 2, 0 to pi by 4. Substitute here. So here I have t square which become pi square by 4. So pi square by 4 square is 16 and 1 by 2 I can write it as 1 into 2 here. And if you put 0, this is minus 0. So the value is pi square by 32. So this is the value of the given integral. Next, 0 to pi by 2 cos square x dx. So we know that cos 2x can be written as 2 cos square x minus 1. Or if you want this, 1 plus cos 2x divided by 2 can be taken as cos square x. So using the method of substitution again. So here, I will just replace this as, I can also rewrite this as 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 cos 2x. 
So now I can write this function as 0 to pi by 2, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 cos 2x with respect to dx. Now apply the integral separately half into dx or you can take half outside the function also half into dx with respect to the integral it becomes x. Next here I have half so therefore I will write half here. So here also I can take half next cos 2x I have cos 2x can be written as sin 2x 1 by 2 sin 2x. So already I have half cos 2x becomes half into sin x. So now let us apply the limits here from 0 to pi by 2. So let me take half outside the function. So here 0 to pi by 2 means put x is equal to pi by 2. So pi by 2 plus half sin pi by 2. Next put x is equal to 0 minus 0 plus half sin 0. Now evaluate this half into pi by 2 becomes pi by 4 plus half into half is 1 by 4 value of sin pi by 2 is 1 and here it is completely 0 so therefore the value is pi by 4 plus 1 by 4 or if you take 1 by 4 as a common factor it is 1 by 4 into pi plus 1. So this is the value of the given integral. Next. 0 to pi sin square x by 2 minus cos square x by 2. So now here we know that this is in the half angle formula. So I can write cos 2x as cos square x minus sin square x. So therefore if you change 2x to x here then this becomes cos square x by 2 minus sin square x by 2. But here I have sin square x by 2 minus cos square x by 2. So I can write it as minus cos x. So therefore the integral becomes integral 0 to pi minus cos x I have. I will substitute minus here cos x dx. So therefore again minus. So what is cos x sin x? Let us apply the limit. So we get minus sin pi minus sin 0. We know that sin 0 is 0, sin any pi is 0. So therefore it is the value is 0. So next here we have integral from 0 to pi by 2 sin x divided by 1 plus cos square x dx. So here what I will take here put cos x is equal to t. Then what is the derivative of cos x? It is minus sin x. So minus sin x dx is equal to dt. Now I need to change the integral limits value also here. So if you put cos 0, so put x is equal to 0, then cos 0 is equal to 0, so which is nothing but t. So cos... Then cos 0 is equal to t. So this implies the value of t is equal to 1 because cos 0 is 1. So when x is 0, t is equal to 1. Next, if x is equal to pi by 2, then cos pi by 2. What is cos pi by 2 value? It is 0. So which is nothing but t. So therefore change the integral here. So this becomes from 0 to pi by 2, it becomes 1 to 0. 1 to 0 here and sin x dx can be written as dt. I have minus outside so I will write it as dt and this becomes 1 plus t square. Again this is in the form of 1 by a tan inverse x by a. So therefore I can write it as minus. So here I need 1 by a means 1 by 1 tan inverse x by a which is nothing but t by 1 and the limits are from 1 to 0. So now I will take minus outside. So tan inverse t it becomes, so it is tan inverse 0 minus tan inverse 1. What is the value of tan inverse 0? It is 0 minus, what is the value of tan inverse 1? It is pi by 4. So minus of minus pi by 4 becomes pi by 4. So therefore the value of the given definite integral is pi by 4. So next we have 
integral from 0 to 1 sin inverse of 2x divided by 1 plus x square dx. So first let us simplify this result. So put x is equal to tan theta. If you put x is equal to tan theta then what is dx? dx is equal to secant square theta d theta. Next here we have the limits. Put x is equal to 0. Then what is tan theta? Tan theta the, or what is theta? Theta is tan inverse 0. So tan inverse 0 is 0. If you put x is equal to 1 then tan theta is 1. So theta is tan inverse 1. So therefore theta is equal to pi by 4. Now let us change the limits here. So it is from 0 to 1 to now it is 0 to pi by 4. And here we have sin inverse of 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta and into dx we have. So dx can be changed to secant square theta d theta. We know that here 0 to pi by 4 sin inverse 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta can be written as sin 2 theta. And here we have secant square theta d theta. Now sin inverse of sin 2 theta becomes so here 2 theta. So therefore the value is here 0 to pi by 4 2 theta into secant square theta into d theta. Now here I have 2 as a constant. Let me take it outside and apply the integral only for the functions. That is theta into secant square theta d theta. I have 2 functions here. Let us apply integration by parts. Then this is 2 times. First function integral of secant square theta d theta is tan theta. Minus again integration of integral of secant square theta tan theta derivative of theta 1 into d theta. So apply the integral from 0 to pi by 4. So next I have 2 into theta tan theta minus log of here I have secant theta integral from 0 to pi by 4. So 2 into pi by 4 tan pi by 4 minus log modulus secant pi by 4 and here minus next 0 tan 0 minus log secant 0 is completely 0. So now 2 times so here I have pi by 4 tan pi by 4 is 1 so it is pi by 4 into 1 1 secant pi by 4 is root 2 so this is log of root 2. So now when you multiply 2 here it will becomes pi by 2 minus so this is root can be written as half log 2 and when you multiply here 2, 2, 2 get cancelled. So therefore here I can write it as pi by 2 minus log 2. So this is the value of the given integral. So by the method of substitution, we can get the form in the form of theta where the integral value from 0 to 1 changes to 0 to pi by 4. After finding the standard integral value, substitute the limits 0 as well as pi by 4. So for pi by 4, you will get this result that is pi by 4 minus log root 2. Log root 2 is nothing but log 2 to the power half which can be written as half into log 2. So when you multiply 2 inside the function, here 2, 2 get cancelled, it becomes pi by 2 and here 1 by 2 is already there and multiplying 2 it get cancelled. So the value is log 2. Therefore the value of the given integral is pi by 2 minus log 2. So next one, integral from minus 1 to 1 of the function 1 divided by x square plus 2x plus y dx. So we know that x square plus 2x plus 5 can be written in the form of when you add. So here what you are going to add 1 square and subtract 1 square so that it become x plus 1 whole square plus 4. So now this is in the form of integral minus 1 to 1 
1 divided by x plus 1 whole square plus 2 square. So, here square with respect to dx. Again, this is in the form of integral of x square plus a square whose value is 1 by a tan inverse x by a. So, in the place of x you have x plus 1, in the place of a you have 2. So, just replace it. So, this becomes 1 by a means 1 by 2 tan inverse x by a which is x plus 1 by 2. And here we have minus 1 plus 1. Let me take half outside the function half now let us apply the value of x now here. So, tan inverse x 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 by 2, it is 1 minus, next half I have taken outside, minus 1 plus 1, 0, 0 by 2 is 0. So, therefore, tan inverse of 0. Now, here half tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4 minus tan inverse of 0 is 0. So, therefore, this becomes pi by 4 into 1 by 2 pi by 8. So, this is the value of the given integral. So, using the concept of second fundamental theorem of integral calculus and applying the limits in the form of f of b minus f of a, we can evaluate or find the unique value of the definite integrals. So, this completely covers entire syllabus of the chapter integrals. So, here we have studied the indefinite integrals and we have found the antiderivative or the integral value of the given derivative functions and also we have studied how to calculate the definite integrals of the given function. In the next chapter, we will be studying the application of these definite integrals. Until then, keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.